So, hi. Welcome back to my video blog about The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now I will be talking about chapters 29 through 31. So this is entry number 9, so it's uh, one before the last one, before I finish the whole book, which is very short actually. I'm just missing a couple chapters. Oh, this <laughs> Sorry. I got a little distracted. So we left off with Arthur knowing about how the Earth was created and why. And now we're back to Sapod and Horn and Trillion. After they passed out, now they are waking up. They woke up Sapod, which apparently took longer to wake up because since he has two heads, he inhaled a double of the gas, so it took a little bit longer for him to wake up. But besides that, he woke up and he's in like this planet made of gold. So uh, Ford and Trillian tell him that it's not true, it's not a real thing, that it's just part of the catalog of of the planet, the planet that makes planets. I would say the name, but I have butchered it enough. So, um, Tapa does not want to wake up, his brain hurts, stuff like that. And talking about his brain, um, he starts talking about what he left off, that he found out that his brain had been, like, damaged or, like, blocked, and that it was signed BB. So, I was right with my theory. Uh, he thinks the same, he thinks that he blocked himself off, that he was the one who did that to his brain. Um, just a parenthesis, if you hear music or noises, it's because my brother is watching a series. I think it's 13 Reasons Why Season 2, but his his TV is right on the other side of this wall and it's pretty thin, so if you can hear it, I'm sorry. If you don't, I sound crazy, but it's there. Um... Besides that, oh, I left where his hat bought. It's telling that he might be the one who blocked off his memories, not only for himself not being able to uh, access it, but he thinks it might be for the galactic government not to find out. So he talks about Ford, how they met the ex president of the galaxy, who was Yudin Branks, and that apparently that they met him when they were younger, when they were still in their whole planet that they stole a ship and left and met him and had a great time and then the guy left them on prison in their home planet but they met and apparently before he became the president um... Wooden, Yudin told them about uh... the heart... well... yeah, told him about the heart of gold and how he should steal it and apparently that is the whole reason why he became the president of the galaxy because you did also told him that the best way to steal it would be in the day that it was announced and shown. So uh, it's kind of like mind blowing. But he thinks that they talked about more stuff, just that he blocked himself off so that nobody else could know what they talked about. So they changed a planet and then they changed a planet again, and now they have they've been called like somebody entered a Magrathian. I feel like I keep saying it wrong, but I don't care. And they tell him that the mice will see them now. So the mice, apparently, it's important for the story not only because they created Earth, but because they're there. And we go back to Slarty, ba Slarty Bart, Fast, and Arthur, and how uh, Slarty is telling him. So there you have it. Deep thought designed the Earth. We built it, and you lived on it. And I was wrong when I said the last time that I talked about how the Earth was destroyed before it it could serve its purpose. It was not millions of years uh, away from the answer. It was five minutes away from the answer. So, great. Just a big coincidence that the Vogans, Vogans just decided to destroy it at that point. So, uh... They keep walking and they bump into well they don't bump. They they see that they meet again with Ford, Sapod and Trillian, which are eating um which are eating with the mice. Apparently they zapped and they they checked their brains and as a as a uh, we're sorry. 
they gave them food. So the mice are talking to Arthur because um, he's the only Earthman left, the other, the only person of Earth left uh, besides Trillian. But he was closer to when the answer was gonna be given than Trillian. Trillian left years before that, or months before that. I don't remember the exact date, but he's the closest one to it. So, what they want is his brain. They want to study his brain to see if there is a way that they can find the answer because they were so close to getting it. But they want to buy it, so they want to take it off and use it for experiments. Which at that, anybody with a sense of how the, the human body works would say, No, you cannot have my brain because... It is a very important part of your body. You cannot live without it. But they're telling them that <laughs> that they would give them an electronic one and program it to just think. I think it was what? Uh, here it is. What? I don't understand. And where's the T? Because he's English. <laughs> so again, more of that humor. And that's why he doesn't want it to be taken away. And that is why Trillian went, uh, well, he wanted to go away, but the mice, like, apparently they're, like, super powerful, so they did a thing, and they started floating towards him, and he was, like, hypnotized, I don't know, and again, one of those parts that I don't understand, and, uh, Trillian is trying to save him, Saphod and Ford are trying to open the door, which when they do, there's people, or, like, yeah, they say that it's a rather ugly men that have medical equipment that does not look pretty that the medical equipment was for them to take the brain so at that point all hell sets loose and then it gets interrupted by the alarm of the planet so they got saved by the alarm so i just realized that the whole thing of not understanding and not remembering the other chapters i'm sorry but uh it was because I read them some time ago, like, not a long time ago, it was like one day ago, but still my memory apparently does not work correctly, so there's still confusion, but now that I recently read this part, I understand it better, but it still gets a little bit jumbled up when I read about it, so this has been the chapters 21 to 31, and so far... I'm really liking the story, like, it's getting more, like, I'm sad that it's ending in so little, but I'm happy that I bought the whole, like, five novels, because it would just set me with too many questions not answered, and I want to know, because poor Arthur just has had a rough couple of days, I don't even think it's a couple of days, I think it's been, like, two of them, so, poor him, and I hope that they make it out of it alive and with his brain, and who knows what is going to happen with the mice. Also, they cancelled Earth, Earth 2 because they have Arthur. So, the Slardy was pretty pissed about it because he was already working on it. And he was making pieces of art for it. And now that it's cancelled, he has to throw it away. So, poor guy. Just give him a break. And, yeah. So far, I just hope that they escape this planet safe and sound and that they find another adventure that does not uh it's not need for anybody to lose their brain so that has been that has been all for this entry so i'll see you in the next one goodbye